Hey there everyone, this is Tom and you are watching Orchid Fortress and um, this video will be a continuation video of that um, Orchid, uh, I mean garden update that I made um, earlier today. So it's already um, 3 a.m. in the Philippines so I just got home from work. Um, for today, I, I am required to go to the office so I don't have any choice but to follow my boss so yeah here are the orchids that I have here in the pond section of the house this is actually my favorite um, section um, of the house if uh, not because of the vendors back there then definitely this will be my favorite one so let's start off with showing you this dendrobium nemo take a look at that let me just focus a little bit i don't know you guys if this um, camera is giving justice to the color of the actual flower since i'm filming at night but here they are let's try to get the use of things that we have here so that this one is um, dendrobium mini tie down um, some people most of the time they um, mistakenly identify this one as um, dendrobium mini aya but I'm certain that this is a mini tie down because I do have mini aya and it doesn't look like that so um, let's go here with our dendrobium Indonesian Raya Blue, my all-time favorite. You can take a look at that. The uh, specimen. This is a big specimen already. So let me just show you how nice the flower that is being filled out by this um, uh, amazing specimen. It's a huge one. So, um, oh, anyways, um, this these are my uh, recent purchase. These are bag babies. You can take a look at this one. A small orchid. So all the uh, cakeys or side shoots that is visible in this bag babies are because of my um, care. I'm so sorry for the dogs. Yeah, it's so unusual here in our village that there is someone recording a video at 3 a.m. So dogs are being annoyed. <laughs> but let's just try to move forward. Oh, anyways, guys, I am excited to show you this one. Um, this is an Inopsis. Unfortunately, um, the f some some. Uh, some of the buds blasted because of the transport so when I ordered this um, particular plant from Golden Blooms Orchid they sent the plant with um, buds however of course being shipment is so stressful to our orchids some of the buds blasted so yeah here is my Phalaenopsis Shiruliana which I am struggling to grow because I don't know she's not as prolific grower as it should be but maybe because I'm located in the lowlands that's why she is struggling she's always thirsty but I try to uh, <clears throat> I try to actually keep up with the water <laughs> but here is actually my Lenopsis amabilis take a look at that She's doing good, the roots are fine, she's healthy. And Melissa actually just commented in one of my video, or my video that I created uh, earlier today. She asked me about a water therapy and uh, how does that work. So water therapy is a way when you don't have sphagnum moss in your area even though you have the money to buy or whatsoever 
it's just not available so water therapy it is so for example i just repotted this phalaenopsis to Liana and she is throwing up some buds i just repotted her there so um i used some um coca-cola bottle or plastic bottle or soda bottle and i do um punch some side holes but you can take a look at this one it's so difficult to film during nighttime take a look at that there is a little um, reservoir of water at the bottom so i don't actually uh, poke any holes um, down here at the bottom so i always make sure that there is a side hole or a side slit but um, i also uh, make sure that there is some type of reservoir or water reservoir for the orchid to actually have some water whenever i forgot to water them so the purpose of this one for example this bromeliad so water therapy this is not actually pure water this is water with a rooting hormone or anaa if you are located in the u.s or any part of the world i don't know um, about the brands that are available in your area but here in the philippines uh, siam early grow or anaa rooting hormone is or are the things that i have been using since 2016. so let me just grab the bottle of anaa so you guys can take a look take a screenshot and look it in shopee or lazada or even your garden centers that is near in your area so what i do is i mix a solution of anaa one tablespoon uh, in every one liter of water so i mix it i do a solution and then i place any plant it can be a, a philodendron cutting it can be a rootless orchid or a rootless phalaenopsis and cedium so i just pour the solution of banana and water here in some type of bucket and then this is the rootless bromeliad now just put it here okay so i will change the solution uh two times a week and i will leave it here i will repeat the cycle or solution uh, until i see visible root system or viable roots it's not just visible it should be a viable root that is um, capable of you know picking up um, nutrients or water so once you have those viable roots then you can definitely go ahead and repot your orchid your um, plant in general so one more example is here so i purchased some seedling these are seedlings of phalaenopsis sanderiana this one this is sanderiana this is phalaenopsis aphrodite and this is our Phalaenopsis Stuartiana, which is currently in bloom. Let me just focus here. Oh, she's too squishy. <laughs> oh, anyways, here. Oh my goodness. The filming condition is not really helping me at all. But there you go, this is the uh, Phalaenopsis Stuartiana. This is actually just a seedling. I purchased it um, around two months ago. And she is throwing some spikes. The only reason I didn't remove her um, in the reservoir is just because I don't see any roots that is viable or she's not um, putting out some aerial roots so when it comes to phalaenopsis 
I uh, wait for these type of roots to come out before I transfer the phalaenopsis or the orchid in the proper setup. So take a look at that. That is a viable, viable roots. Okay, so fully developed roots. If uh, uh, viable roots are not visible, then I will. They will continue to be here until they develop those roots, and then I can transfer them. Okay, so Melissa, if you are watching, that's how the water therapy works. It really helps with those orchid that doesn't have enough uh, root system and those dehydrated ones. So, yeah, actually. Um, now that I have uh, a proper job, <laughs> I have a job, uh, uh, I can be a little busy at times. So, um, this is what I do. I know this is not advisable because if there's uh, a disease or any insects infestation in your garden, uh, community watering or bottom watering in a community setup, this is not advisable. But before I do put some orchids together, I make sure that there is no or there there is no insects or uh, fungal infection happening before I uh, bottom water those orchids together. Okay, so that's what I do. This uh, saves a lot of time if uh, I do this because sometimes when I wake up, since I'm working graveyard shift. When I wake up during lunchtime or afternoons, then I don't have enough time to actually water my orchids. So I can only water my orchid twice a week. Well, I don't know if that's a routine that you're following, but in my schedule, that's the only routine I can follow. So here is our Tolumnia. Look at that! I'm so excited. Um, this is the most perfect Tolumnia spike or bloom that this plant has given me. Take a look at that. Just full. All I mean, all the buds are opening. I don't suffer from bud blast or trips. Um, I can consider myself lucky. <laughs> right okay this one is gyrac um tulumnia gyrac firm i don't know or spotty tulumnia spotty because you can take a look at the pattern it's so spotty <laughs> but i prefer to call her freckles uh, my freckle tulumnia Okay, I'm actually waiting for this Tulumia as well. This one is the pure red Tulumia. Oh, take a look at that. The Belloping Flower Spike. That's one. That's This one is two. So I'm waiting for two Flower Spikes to actually develop in the following weeks. And I am so excited. Alright. Let me just put it back. Okay, so if you live in uh, humid areas like the Philippines or Florida, you can actually go ahead and explore more when it comes to Brassocatleia or Nerdosa uh, hybrids because um, uh, as per my observation, um, Nadosa hybrids or Catlea hybrids, they really do well with the heat or, you know, the hot condition. So here is my um, Brasso Catlea uh, hmm, green keys. And she do have some buds developing too. So, um, Oh, before I forgot, um, this is my share baby from Mr. Sean or Leon. I just met him in uh, a Facebook group, Orchid Facebook, 
Facebook group here in the Philippines. This is the real Cheru baby. I'm so excited. I do have some two spikes coming. I'm just so excited about that. I am starting to miss the long for orchid stars smelling like vanilla and chocolates during morning. So the last orchid that I will be showing here is my Oncidium um, Oncidium eye candy pinky. So the first time I saw this orchid is from Melissa. So she have uh, this orchid in her garden and she uploaded a reel. Oh, it's not a reel, a short, a YouTube video short. And I fell in love with the color, so wild. I prefer to call her a cat because of Cat Fiona Gray, <laughs> our Miss Universe 2018 from the Philippines. So I prefer to call her a cat. Because take a look at that. She is so beautiful. Wow. Such wild uh, pattern in the flower. Amazing. This is Oncidium intergeneric uh, hybrid. Just amazing. Look at that. Alright. I guess that will be all guys. If you do have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask me uh, down the uh, comment section. And then if you have any suggestions or anything that you can think of, just uh, comment there, say something, and we can talk together. I'll try to answer some of the comments as soon as I can. Uh, oh, before I end the video, last thing. I promise this, is, this will be the last thing. I just wanted to show you this. Um, I guess this is a dendrobium. A native dendrobium from the Philippines from Mindanao region, particular in uh, Bukid, ah, that's um, Bukid Non, I guess. I mean, just take a look at the bulbs. This does look like some kind of potatoes. <laughs> I don't know. But take a look at the bulbs, guys. This is so unique looking orchid. And yeah, this is the plant when you look at it from afar it's just different looking <laughs> weird but I love it I love weird things so yeah that will be all guys thank you so much for tuning in have a great day ahead bye bye